Hello little gems and welcome back to the Little Gems of Baha channel. This week we're learning about prayerfulness and we have a wonderful story of Abdul Baha and how he taught a friend how to pray. When we pray, we are in the presence of God. It's a very special time, a time to be humble and to listen with all our hearts to God's guidance. Before we pray, we should clear our minds and focus on God by taking a prayerful position. This may be sitting with our arms crossed, our hands on our laps, and our eyes closed to help us concentrate. Our voice should be reverent, meaning respectful and loving, and we should listen quietly when others recite prayers. So this week, let's practice prayerfulness. I can't wait to hear all about the ways you practice being prayerful this week in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload. Now pay close attention to the story and I'll have some questions for you at the end. When Abdul Baha was in New York, he asked a devout Baha'i, Mr. M, to come and see him. If you will come to me at dawn tomorrow, I will teach you to pray. Mr. M was delighted and woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. He traveled across the city and arrived for his lesson at 6 a.m. When he arrived, Abdul Baha was already praying. Kneeling by the side of the bed, Mr. M copied Abdul Baha, making sure to sit directly across from him. Seeing that Abdul Baha was deep in prayer, Mr. M began to pray silently for his friends and family. Abdul Baha did not say a word to him. So Mr. M went over all the prayers he knew. He repeated the prayers twice and then three times. Still, not a word was spoken by Abdul Baha. Mr. M rubbed one of his knees and thought about his back. He began to pray again, this time hearing the birds singing outside the window. An hour passed. Two hours passed. Mr. M's body felt quite numb. His eyes wandering along the wall caught a sight of a large crack. He looked at the crack with a touch of annoyance. But then let his gaze pass again to Abdul Baha's still figure across the bed. The joy he saw as he watched Abdul Baha pray stopped him from thinking about his surroundings. Suddenly he wanted to pray like Abdul Baha. Mr. M's selfish desires were forgotten. He was conscious of only one thing, a passionate desire to draw near to God. Closing his eyes again, he stopped thinking about the world, and amazingly, his heart was filled with joyous prayer. Abdul Baha had taught him to pray. Abdul Baha immediately got up and came to him. His eyes rested smiling upon the newly humbled Mr. M. When we pray, he said, you must not think of your aching body, nor of the birds outside the window, nor of the crack in the wall. He became very serious and added, when you wish to pray, you must first know that you are standing in the presence of the Almighty. What a wonderful story. All right, little gems, we have come to the part of the video where I ask you questions about the story we just heard. So you can pause after each question to take a minute and answer it, and then unpause to hear the answer. All right, let's begin. Question number one. What was the name of the devout Baha'i Abdul Baha asked to come visit him?
If you answered Mr. M, you would be absolutely correct. Question number two. What did Abdul Baha tell Mr. M he was going to teach him? If you said Abdul Baha told Mr. M he was going to teach him to pray, then you would be absolutely correct. Question number three. What was Abdul Baha doing when Mr. M arrived? If you said Abdul Baha was already praying, kneeling by the side of his bed, then you're absolutely correct. Question number four. What did Mr. M began noticing after praying for some time? If you said he began to notice the pain in his knee and the pain in his back and the bird singing outside and the crack on the wall, then you're absolutely correct. Question number five. Once Mr. M focused again and watched Abdul Baha, what was the one thing he wanted to do? If you said he wanted to pray just like Abdul Baha and he had this desire to draw near to God, then you would be absolutely correct. Question number six. What happened when Mr. M stopped thinking of the world? Amazingly, his heart was filled with joyous prayer. Question number seven. Did Abdul Baha teach Mr. M how to pray? Yes, he definitely did. He taught him by his actions. Question number eight. What did Abdul Baha tell Mr. M we shouldn't do during prayer? Abdul Baha said, we must not think about our aching bodies or the bird outside the window or that crack on the wall. Question number nine. When we're praying, we must know that we're standing in the presence of whom? If you answered in the presence of the Almighty or God, then you are absolutely correct. Great job, little gems. All right, little gems, make sure to practice prayerfulness this week. Remember to clear your mind, stop thinking about everything, and remember that you're in the presence of God. Let your heart be filled with love and happiness. And if you find that your mind is wandering like Mr. M, Remember Abdul Baha sitting in front of you quietly praying just like he was doing for Mr. M. Thanks for joining me for another story. I'll see you next week. Bye little gems.